Sean, I'm back with a, another video. Today is going to be my mid-month wrap-up for October. So I did an October TBR super late, probably about a week ago, and have barely read anything off of that October TBR, but I have read a lot of things. So that's just like me never to stay on track with the plan that I've laid out. So for the month of October, I have read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 things. And we have about a week left in October. I don't know how much more, like, I can possibly read in October, but I have read 14 things so far. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and get started. I'm not going to spend too long talking about each book, only because that means that it would take forever to get through this video. And editing, as always, editing. I don't like editing a video that long. So the first book that I completed in October technically is a book that I read all through September and that was Slay by Brittany Morris. I have a full written review of this and I will leave it down in the description box. This is about a 17 year old named Kiera Johnson who has built this whole entire gaming world called Slay where it's a safe space for people of color specifically black people to meet up and game because they don't have that safe environment in other games and everything is going well she kind of hides not even kind of she does hide the game from her friends and her family until someone ends up getting killed and then everything kind of falls apart i really enjoyed this one you will see it in my um my written review and i also plan to do a full talking review on here about this one soon but i ended up giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars the next thing that i completed was the secret spell of swamp kid by kirk scoggs and this is one that i received from dc zoom for review it is about a middle school kid and he is the swamp kid but his name is russell and russell has some interesting powers and some weird things start going on and it's kind of just his day-to-day -day life and there are some people who are very interested in why he's part human and part swamp creature i really enjoyed this one there's a guest star from dc's traditional comic line that you will be familiar with but I won't spoil it for you and I thought that the artwork was really cool very interesting and I do have a full written review of this one as well and I will leave that down in the description box. The next book that I read I actually listened to on audio so I'd insert a picture of it and it is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. This is a middle grade novel about a young girl by the name of Mia and her two parents who have immigrated from China and they have decided to work at this hotel and Mia is in charge of working the front desk. This book delves into a lot of issues that we currently discuss here in the United States including immigration, race, discrimination, prejudice. Um, it is so well written, so well done. Um, there's a host of diverse characters. There are some parts of the book that were extremely difficult to get through just because I found that um, just the characterization of certain people, even the characterization of Mia, sometimes it's hard like when other kids would say stuff like, oh, you know, we picked you to be on our math team because you're Chinese and Chinese people are supposed to be good at math stuff like that or the black main character basically saying that you know people are automatically going to assume that I'm violent because I'm black and I'm a man so I thought it was hard hitting and very powerful just to be a middle grade novel and it definitely is one of my favorites of the year and I ended up giving it five out of five stars. After listening to Front Desk I finished up the Skeleton Stuffs A Stocking by Lee Perry. This is the sixth book in the Family Skeleton Mystery and I received this one from Diversion Books for review so I will leave my written review of this book down in the description box along with all these other reviews that I have done. This is crazy. Um, and I won't say much about this one because it is the sixth one in the series but you don't need to read it in order. I like to read it in order but Cozy Mysteries are kind of like that genre where you don't really have to read them in order because the authors typically find a way to write them um, in a manner that's accessible for readers just to jump into and one of the main characters in this book his name is Sid and he's actually a skeleton so that's him so what ends up happening in this premise is the main character Georgia her daughter um goes to find their dog because he goes missing 
when she finds the dog he has a femur in his mouth and they think that the femur belongs to Sid but they find out that it doesn't it actually belongs to a human being and that means that there's a dead body so then the mystery ensues and Georgia and Sid have to solve it. What I really enjoyed about this one was just the fast pace of it. I enjoyed the writing um, and I enjoyed reading Sid as a character since he's a skeleton. That's not something that you very like you find very often a skeleton as a main character so that was done very well and I do plan on checking out books one through five whenever I get a chance. I ended up giving this one four out of five stars. The next two books that I read were part of the Read Me Romance podcast which I learned about um, based on watching Steph um, and I'll link her channel down below. She is such a great booktuber. She reads a lot of romance. She has great recommendations. A lot of the stuff that I have found romance wise has come from her channel as well as Brie and I'll link her channel down below as well. But um, she's been doing her wrap ups and I keep hearing her talk about this Read Me Romance podcast and I was like let me go check this out. So Read Me Romance podcast is the podcast that's um, been started by Alexa Riley and Tessa Bailey. Alexa Riley of course is a writing duo and the three of them what they do is they get a host of romance authors and of course they themselves they write these short novellas so we're talking anywhere in between like 50 to 80 pages a piece and they get people to actually read um the book so it's free romance audiobooks they're not very long at all I mean you think in 60 to 80 pages they're probably like an hour each and they read it over the course of several days so you don't get the whole book at once but they do a book in a week so so far it's a book in a week because I've only listened to four and there's like 50 something of them now um so the first one that I listened to was Closer by Alexa Riley and this deals with a plus size uh, main character who is becoming a lingerie model or her friend's brother thinks that she should be the face of the company and romance kind of ensues from there. I don't really always necessarily expect the most from these because they're novellas so it doesn't really there's not a lot of time for things to build up it kind of just happens quickly so that's kind of an expectation I would set forward if you do plan to check these out but I rated closer three out of five stars and the next one that I listened to that fit into that same category was Renaissance Man and this one was written by Tessa Bailey. I gave this one four out of five stars. I really really enjoyed it. Um, it took place at a Renaissance Fair and the main lead on the male end was ex-military. It was or still is in the military one of the two and it was really interesting. I did not know how they were going to encompass the Renaissance Fair and there were a lot of different elements that happened within that one that were really really good so I ended up giving that one four out of five stars. The next book that I read was Piece of Work which is the first book in the Red Lipstick Coalition series. This is a rom-com that was written by Stacey Hart. I read this one um, for Read for Grace which is something that the blog um, book blog community was doing. Grace um, used to be a blogger. She passed away earlier this year from breast cancer and in honor of her birthday which was this month um, we decided to read a book off of her TBR during that day so I went on her Goodreads looked at her TBR and I found a piece of work and I was like you know what this is on Kindle Unlimited I'm going to check it out and it actually ended up being amazing. I gave it four out of five stars. It's about a girl by the name of Ren. She is a PhD candidate and she is working in art history so she gets an internship at the Met and she meets Court who is the director's son and Court is a complete jerk and Ren doesn't really have the highest self-esteem in the book. Um, she's more in academia than she is to like you know fashion makeup that type of stuff and that all changes. Romance ensues. I think Court is a jerk of course but it ends up working out in the end. I really enjoyed the writing. I thought it was a cute rom-com even if it was a little bit predictable. After that I listened to a, another book from the Read Me Romance podcast and that was Fake Love by Claire Contreras and this one was about a friends to lovers romance. I didn't enjoy this one. I only gave it two out of five stars and I only gave it two out of five stars because I thought that the two main characters the way that the story was written it was like we were dumped into a, the middle of a story it didn't really make sense we didn't really get a lot of back history on the two of them 
um, it just was too fast, too quick. Even for a novella, I thought it was too fast. It just wasn't really intriguing and it actually took me forever to listen to that one because I just wasn't really enjoying it. Even though these audiobooks are like an hour long, it took me, I think, over a week to listen to Fake Love. So I didn't really like that one. After that, I read Black Canary Ignite by Meg Cabot and Kara McKee. This is another one that was sent to me by review by DC Comics. And this is about Dinah and her two friends who are in a band. And Dinah has this weird power that she's learning. Um, she doesn't really know that it's a superpower. She just has this really loud voice and every time she talks loud things break around her and she can't figure out why it's happening and um, it goes from there. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it but you find out some interesting things about her parents. There's this shadowy figure that's always following her trying to destroy her life and she doesn't know why so we find out by reading this this is another installment in dc's imprint dc zoom where they're targeting middle grade readers through graphic novels and this was the second one that they sent me for review um like i said i already reviewed it um i'll leave the link to the review down in the description box below and I ended up giving it four out of five stars. I also realized that I didn't tell you guys I have a review for Closer and a review for Piece of Work as well and those two will be down in the description box. After that I listened to Holes by Lewis Sachar, 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 Sachar and this was a reread for me. I just was feeling nostalgic. I haven't read Holes since I was like in middle school and I think what's most surprising about this is how close the movie actually is to the book. I was expecting it to kind of not be that close but it was super super close and I really enjoyed the fact that they were close together because it was like you don't get that very often nowadays with movie adaptations where they actually stay true to the source material. So it was great to see that um, as you guys know Holes is is the story about a young boy by the name of Stanley who is mistakenly accused of stealing a pair of um, baseball cleats that belong to this famous baseball player. You get sent to this camp and this camp is where they dig holes um, and it's supposed to build character but really they're digging holes because the camp director um, is on the search for some treasure and then you get the history of the town. Um, you get to meet Zero or Hector um, and you watch this, him and Stanley build this relationship and then you kind of figure out how they're intertwined really really great book it's classic it was only like four and a half hours long but i ended up giving it four out of five stars the next book that i read was something that i just randomly found on kindle unlimited really really have been in the romance mood it's very strange for me because a year ago i don't think i read this much romance but this year i've been reading a lot of romance and it is pumpkin everything in autumn Burrow sweet romance book one i ended up giving this one two out of five stars i did not enjoy it the way i thought i was i was like oh this is like a halloween fall romance it's gonna be great and it was not because the main character essentially goes um back home to her town of autumn Burrow because her grandfather drives his car into a Dunkin Donuts and she's there to kind of take after him or look after him and she leaves this town because she had issues with her ex from high school so she leaves to go to college to get away from him and never comes back. Um, I just thought that she was a really selfish character. I think her justification for leaving the town was stupid and just really really selfish and even when she gets back this guy turns out to be really really sweet but she just it's just not compassionate she's constantly thinking about self and it was hard to read her as a main character i just did not really care for her so like i said i only ended up giving it two out of five stars and there's a sequel i don't think I'm gonna read it because I don't think it's gonna get much better because I don't like the main character. The next book that I read was another Kindle Unlimited book that was kind of like a fall romance Halloween type romance and it was Fall Into Magic Seasons of Summer novella number one which I thought I was really gonna enjoy. It was a short novella 96 pages. I read it in like a day and a half and I didn't enjoy this one either. I gave it two out of five stars. I didn't like this one because the writing was atrocious. Um, I thought the storyline could have been great. Like 
a lady who's an interior decorator she meets her well she knows her neighbor but she finds out that her neighbor is possibly a psychic and she starts developing this romance with a guy that she's doing interior decorating for and the premise and the idea of the book was really good but the execution was just it was horrible I felt like I was reading a 13 year old journal and I just didn't know how that even was possible to execute in that way but it, the writing just bothered me so badly so that's another one that's a series I'm I think it's four and they're all novellas so really really short but I don't think I'm gonna continue the series at all and like I said I gave that one two out of five stars the next book that I read I listened to on audio and it's Queen Takes Nights their vampire queen number one and this is by Jolie Sue Bookhart and I listened to this one because Riley Marie listened to it I think during like a 24 hour smutathon or during smutathon one of the two and I was very intrigued by it and <laughs> this is a very interesting book I don't even want to describe it I think this is one where you should just go and listen to it and I'm not going to say anything the cover should tell you enough it is a romance book it's about a girl who discovers that she may possibly be a queen vampire but there's a lot more to it and I'm not gonna go into it don't read the book listen to it on audio I gave it three out of five stars um that probably will continue with the stories with the with the series just because for the sake of it and I'm just gonna leave it at that and the last thing that I read this month so far is the fourth book in the read me romance podcast and it's heavy equipment by Sky Warren and this is one that I ended up giving two stars to as well um and I kind of made me slow down a little bit with Read Me Romance because the first two I enjoyed and these last two that I listened to I had not enjoyed at all so um this one also took me a while to read and I just I don't like how the main character the female went from being scared of this guy to all of a sudden like being totally engrossed by him it was just weird the dynamic was weird um their interactions didn't bother me because i don't want that to be the reason why because it's kind of hard for me to pinpoint but like it's just she went from being so scared to all of a sudden just being okay within the course of like a day and it just didn't make any sense it didn't add up to me um and it ended abruptly so it's kind of like the story felt unfinished and I don't think that Sky Warren has written anything else related to it so I just didn't enjoy it and I ended up giving it two out of five stars. Alright y'all so that is it that's what I read so far in October which is quite a bit. Understand that of course I'm not reading a lot of physical stuff because it's just harder right now to read physical stuff but I am um reading a lot of stuff on my kindle listening to a lot of audiobooks i have a lot of other stuff lined up that i'm currently listening to um so i'm hopefully within the next like what six seven eight days that we have left in this month um i may get some more read this is probably the most i've read in a month only because i have a little bit more free time but not really it's kind of weird i don't it's not really more free time but then it kind of is more free. i don't know how to explain it but um definitely more stuff um read than any other month so far so that's always a good thing i will be back in november with a um complete end of the month wrap up and that probably will be sometime after the first week of november because i'm going back um to my place so the filming area will change again <laughs> all right y'all so that's it if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content from me click the subscribe button and if you're interested in knowing when i post videos hit the bell for notification if interested in following me on social media all the links will be down in the description box as always I hope you guys have a wonderful day bye <laughs>